why is there a coffin inside the church, man? An abandoned primary school in the mountains of Trabzon. Some sort of Allah This is how Karadeniz Pide looks like. Eastern Turkey, a mysterious land where countless ancient kingdoms have ruled. Although this region has one of the richest heritages in the world, it is not well known even among most people in Turkey. In this series, I show my experiences exploring this region with my friend Gurdi from the UK. We traveled to these historic lands, explored remote settlements and documented what life here is like. It's an abandoned school, man. So as we were leaving Machka district on the side of the mountain road, we saw an old abandoned primary school. Have you thought of it? İlkokul. İlkokul means primary school in Turkish. So here it says Köprüyanı, uh, it's the name of the village. I can't read the other one and it says İlköretim Okulu, so Köprüyanı primary school. This, uh, uh, no. Yeah, okay. it's a portrait of Mehmet the second here. Okay, it's yeah. so interesting, man. <laughs> An abandoned primary school in the mountains of Trabzon. Yeah, okay. it's all over here. Look. This looks like a real yeah. map. Here, the ceiling is leaking. Yeah. But I'm coming. I don't want to step on something. Yeah. This must be a very old map, man. Look. What does it say? Oh, okay. It's the map after the Ceres ceasefire that oh. Ottoman Empire signed with the European powers. Look, so it says it in English, right? So this is all English. Let's check this room. What does this say? No cameras. <laughs> this was a place where people voted. Oh, I think this is locked. Down. Yeah. So maybe it's just in English. During the elections, people in rural yeah. areas, they vote in high schools. Actually, even in the big cities. Well, yeah, no sound like that. People voted here. Yeah. Here's and here are the pictures of Atatürk. So try turning the power. This on. one. Yeah. No power, right? Uh, and here it says Mütür, yeah. This is the principal's office, man. <laughs> Did you check if the phone still works? Yeah. That's dead, right? Let me open my flashlight. Yes. Right now it's way better. Got a lot of textbooks in here. Wait, let me see. School photos on the floor, but a notebook. But we can't see any dates here. Sınıf öğretmeni Kemal Yazıcı. Here it says 1990. What? Semester of 1990. Something okay, so when at least 21 years ago this place was abandoned And you see there's this spider do you want to ring the bell? <laughs> yeah. Class is in this session. indicates that yeah class is in session or there's a recess. Oh Yeah, this is what the school looked like Look at the walls here Man, that's why I love hitting off the beaten path in Turkey and anywhere, like anywhere in the world. You see these amazing hidden gems that no one really visits. And this is the classroom. Yeah. The desks are here. Some educational tools. This is for the human anatomy. And you see some old notebooks, some Turkish flags. Some ketchup. This is the Atatürk corner. Every school had it. Atatürk oh, really? yeah. Okay. His portraits, important scenes from his life. Yeah, there's this ketchup bottle. Tonic. This looks like a nice sofa, man. This is nice. Couch. And an item bottle. This, this is a voting room, I guess. So you said this is the toilet of the school. This is the toilet, yeah. You see if this is open? Oh. Wait. Yeah. 
this is the back part of the school. We have another classroom oh, here. Oh, it's just the kitchen sink and the uh, Spider webs. Yeah, spider webs all over. I think there's a ladder there. Look, someone comes up here and keeps bees up there. Gotta be careful because there can be some garden snakes here. The vegetation is so thick here, I can't walk properly. But yeah, this is the toilet. And this is another room. Well, that's a big snail, yeah, man. There's quite big ones around here, man. Okay, I'm gonna plop. This was quite interesting. And without losing any more time, let's bounce. Although nature-wise, Black Sea is one of the most beautiful uh, parts of Turkey, it has tacky architecture. We have this Karadenizimutite yeah. sort of thing. Like, generally, <laughs> you can see some really awkwardly positioned houses with really tacky and awful architecture but area was I mean people are friendly the nature is beautiful but architecture no and turn left onto Balaban Sakak this is what I mean when I say black sea architecture <laughs> yeah. you have to go a bit there yeah yeah roads are actually in good condition though right? they're not that like just destroyed like I've seen in other parts of the world yeah I mean the roads are super narrow, but at least they're holes. asphalt roads. Yeah. At least asphalt. Yeah, I've not seen any big holes, potholes especially. Holy moly, oh my god. Guys, look at these ones. Kaimakli Church. We are in the outskirts of Trabzon on a hill and we have this monastery complex. The main church is intact. The chapel right next to it is mostly dilapidated. The rooms where priests lived, it's uh, mostly in ruins as well. But this structure is relatively not well preserved but better preserved I would say. And there is not even a single soul around. It's just us in a rural Trabzon exploring an ancient Armenian church. I see many writings, I can't read it. And yeah, here too, I see some old texts in Armenian. Is there some inscription here from 1845 with some Armenian writing? Yeah, maybe it's some people visiting the yeah, church yeah. and they wanted to leave their mark. If any Armenian person watches this video, you can maybe tell us what does this say? As you said, these places, these frescoes, it's priceless really. So beautiful. On Google Maps it says this is a Greek church. Really? <laughs> but yeah, if you go to Cappadocia or any other old Christian sites in Turkey, you'll see most of these faces, faces of the frescoes carved out. I don't know the motive behind it, but as I was told by a local in Cappadocia, some people just sell this in the black market. And this is the place where priests lived. But we can't go in, man. The doors are locked. Anything inside? It leads to the monastery. I got long legs. Yeah, that's true. I don't. More light this way. I think this has been a treasure hunter's cove. It looks like there's some treasure hunting going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, if I see any bats, can I scream? Yeah, this is a dead end. It's blocked. They built a house mm. on top of this, so watch mm -hmm. out for the cobwebs. Point of flashlight yeah. again. Okay, man, I'm hungry right now. Yeah. We'll we have to grab way. some bites, yeah. In Ariza, let's grab a cut in this for the... Okay, let's do it. Sure. Yeah, this is our place. Cool, man. We can sit, if you want, we can sit here. Want something with meat or cheese? Meat. Meat. Biz iki ince kolumalı pide alabiliriz. İngiltere'den geldi, dedim buraya getirdim. İlk yeşilde ince kolumalı iyi midir? İyi. O zaman 
2 ile kovmanı rica edelim. Kova? Ne var? 2'de kova. Tamam. Abi teşekkürler. Let's see if you like it. Let me be a diva, take a picture of the food. This is how Karadeniz pide looks like. What kind of meat is that? Beef. So crispy and buttery. And tasty. Out of 10, what's your rating? <laughs> 8. That's cool, man. Fair enough. Borcum ne kadar abi? 90 lira. Temassız borcum. Teşekkürler ederim. İyi günler eyvallah. Let's go. So bro, we're in Artvin and what is your first impression and what are your opinions about the Eastern Black Sea? Expect a lot of greenery, a lot of mountains, a lot of rain, a lot of nature basically. People seem friendly. Yeah they are. Uh, infrastructure is good, roads are good, there's a lot of petrol stations, a lot of uh, supermarkets and official shops you know so but no it's very European standards I'd say compared to like UK it's very similar in some ways so on the way we grabbed two coffees from Starbucks from, Petro yeah. from Starbucks of uh, Artvin <laughs> and for two coffees we paid 14 liras What's that? like less than two dollars in Black Sea, people don't drive with their brain. They they take they try and take over you on a blind <laughs> corner. Come on, man, that's like driving 101. Road from Riza to Artvin. It took longer than we expected. So <laughs> the sun set like an hour ago. It's just pure dark in the road, and we're just driving through the dark hills of Black Sea. The asphalt ended here. It's just a dirt road right now. I'll ask this guy one second. Abi selam nereyküm? Bu aleyküm selam. Kilise varmış bir tane. Dol. Ne oldu? Ne oldu? Bu tarafta kilise olur mu? Olur mu? Bu tarafta olmaz. Ne oldu? Yayı düzeşiyoruz. Bu yasaktı bu tarafta sonra abi. Daha kaç bir tarafta dokuz ana. Hemen dönün ki. İmza rastlar bir tane hemen bak anı gel görür yandarım. I have no idea what he's saying. Okay. Şimdi ben ofislerden giyeyim. Tamam. Abi tamam. teşekkür ederim. Evet. Eyvallah. Aslım bir gün abim lazım. I don't understand. I mean, I just asked the wrong guy. Tell me why. Ya, bilmiyorum ama bak, arabanın gitmediği yerde yolda dar olabilirse dönemezsiz. Çamur olur şimdi yerler ıslah da. Sıkıntıya kalırsınız. Yürüyerek gitmeyin, ayırır sizi. Teşekkürler, iyi akşamlar. Thank you. It's perfect. So we are in a remote Turkish village in the mountains of Black Sea. And behind us is a huge a medieval Georgian church. It's kind of hard for me to film guys because yeah, it's quite dark and I'm trying to point the flashlight towards the right direction. So it says here, no camping. You can't spend the night inside the church. Out there are no stray dogs or something. Not this is not the right way to enter. Uh, let's go around. Hey, look, there's something here. Some apps, picture of Jesus, some writing. Oh, it's quite dark. Yeah, pointed here. Dolis Kana Georgian Church. Yeah, still I see some frescoes here. There, why is there a coffin inside the church, man? That's really awkward. Bro, what's this? That's how Turkish horror movies start. I don't want to look in there, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Can you open this? You want me to open it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Empty. It's empty. Okay. You can't come in the car. You can't come inside the car. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's my camera, don't touch. <laughs> okay, so you're Artvin's Garfield then. This is like no man's land. 
absolutely. The street's empty. There's no one. We saw one guy in the street. It's kind of like yeah. it's some sort of Allah no yeah, yeah, and the place that Allah God has forgotten. 